Us NBA fans inspire the fact of owning a team. Some of us think it's easy, but it's not as easy as how you do it in 2K. Let's see how to run an NBA organization like the Sacramento Kings. Thomas Robinson was a 5-star recruit coming out of Kansas averaging 17.7 points per game and 11.9 rebounds per game. He was projected to be chosen 2nd overall but then he slid down to the 5th overall and got picked up by the Maloops who are the former Sacramento Kings owners. He wasn't really useful because he later got traded for, the, for depth in the middle of, the, of his rookie season. Some picks that Sacramento missed are Damian Lillard. Andre Drummond, Draymond Green, Harrison Barnes, Jay Crowder, and Chris Middleton. Some undrafted players that the Kings could have gotten instead of Thomas Robinson are Jamichael Green, Kent Bazemore, and Jonathan Simmons. The Sacramento Kings traded down in the 2011 draft by acquiring John Salmons and the rights to Jimmy Fredette. Jimmy Fredette was coming off a Cinderella season in BYU, breaking almost every school record, and Sacramento already had a point guard in Tyreek Evans. Jimmy was also outplayed by the 60th pick named Isaiah Thomas, who will be mentioned later in the video. The Kings also missed out on Kemba Walker, Klay Thompson, Kawhi Leonard, Nikola Vucevic, Tobias Harris, Reggie Jackson, and Jimmy Butler. Jason Thompson averaged 20.4 points per game, 12.1 rebounds per game, and 2.7 blocks per game on the Ryder Bronx. He was selected 12th overall in the 2000 NBA Draft by the Kings. The Kings could have gotten Roy Hibbert, Serge Ibaka, DeAndre Jordan, Goran Dragic, and Luka Balmute because Jason Thompson was absolute shite when he was on the Kings. I still don't know why they got this dropper. Yorios Papayanis was projected to be a mid to late second round pick. Sacramento acquired Phoenix's draft picks and the rights to Bogdan Bogdanovic for Sacramento's first round pick. The Suns used the pick on Marquis Chris. Papayanis was waived on February 8, 2018 after averaging 2.1 points per game and 2.3 rebounds per game by the Kings. He was signed by the Trailblazers later that season and then waived later. He currently plays for Panathiakos in Greece. The Kings missed out on Pascal Siakam, DeJounte Murray, Malcolm Brogdon, and some familiar and drafted names include Fred Van Vliet, David Mwaba, and Bryn Forbes. Before I talk about Willie Collinstein, I'm not saying he's a bust, but he's underperforming for the overall pick he was drafted on. Willie Collinstein came out of Kentucky and he averaged 8.9 points per game and 6.4 rebounds per game in his last season with Kentucky. This was a questionable move for Sacramento since their star player DeMarcus Cousins, who was a center, was on the team at that time. Three years later, Willie Collins Stein is still on the Kings, averaging 12.8 points per game and 7 rebounds per game. Some notable other draft picks that didn't go well for Sacktown are Nick Stauskas, Spencer Hawes, Ben McLemore, Purvis Ellison, Billy Owens, and Tyreek Evans. And for Tyreek Evans, he has the same thing with Collie Stein. He's underperforming for the draft pick that he was picked on. In 2014, the Kings traded away Isaiah Thomas to the Phoenix Suns for uh, the rights to Alex Oriaki. The Kings got a bum who never and will never play in the NBA and Isaiah Thomas went on to be an all-star and averaging 28.9 points per game and 5.9 assists per game. In 2015, Nick Stauskas, Carl Landry, Jason Thompson and in 2019, unprotected first round pick were traded to the process for Arturas Gouldaitis and Luka Mitrovic and as future second round pick. The Kings shed the following players contracts to sign Rondo and Marco Bellinelli who are no longer part of the team. Stauskas is in Portland now 
Landry is an old man and Jason Thompson is currently playing for Sichuan Blue Whales in China. In 2017, Kings traded away DeMarcus Cousins to New Orleans for Buddy Heald, Tyreek Evans, and Langston Galloway. Listen, the Kings traded away Boogie, an elite player for a potential player in Buddy Heald, and at that time a crap Tyreek Evans. Buddy Heald is a decent, but Tyreek and Langston Galloway aren't part of the team anymore. Langston Galloway is in Detroit and Tyreek Evans recently joined the Pacers after an amazing season with the Grizzlies. Boogie's was part of Golden State now. Speaking of that, fuck you Boogie, you emotional lesbian, and fuck you too Pencilhead Adam Silver, fuck you too. Cunts. Now a huge offseason mistake was waving Hassan Whiteside. Hassan was drafted by the Kings with the 33rd pick in the 2010 NBA Draft. Basically, the Kings shat on Hassan and was waived on July 16, 2012 after playing 19 games with Sacktown. He played in the D League or currently the G League and overseas. In the 2014-15 season, Hassan Whiteside had a career year averaging the double-double. Four years on, he's still with the Heat and possibly their best player right now. Mickey Moore was just some bum at the end of his career that was signed to a 3 year $18 million contract by the Maloofs. His best year in Sacktown was 8.5 points per game and 6 rebounds per game. That's basically it, no one cares about him. In the summer of 2016, the Sacramento Kings signed Aaron Aflalo to a 2 year $25 million contract. He played 61 games with the Kings and only averaged 8.4 points per game. You know there's a problem when Aaron Aflalo, someone is getting paid 12.5 million a year and they only average 8.4 points per game. That means that guy's crap. Nemanja Bialice is a solid player in the NBA. He's a good shooter but not needed for the Kings. I know that he still hasn't played an official re regular season game with the Kings, but they already have three power forwards that are named Marvin Bagley, Zach Randolph, and Scala Bissier. Bailitza is also getting paid $20.5 million for three years. Last season, he averaged 6.8 points per game and 4.1 rebounds per game. The Kings really needed a small forward or wing player, not another big man such as Nemanja Bailitza. Vivek Ranadive is someone who shouldn't be anywhere close to a sports team. The first problem occurred when Ranadive hired his right man GM Pete D'Alessandro. D'Alessandro's time was filled with ridiculing Ranadive. From firing multiple coaches such as Mike Malone, Tyrone Corbin, and George Carl, D'Alessandro had a tendency of leaking negative stories to the press about players and members such as Vivek Ranadive. Boogie and Mike Malone. D'Alessandro was also responsible for trading away Isaiah Thomas as mentioned before in this video. You may have thought that Rana Diva learned from his lessons with D'Alessandro by hiring a GM that can actually lead the way for the Kings. Nope, he brought in Rob Hennigan 2.0 aka Vlade Divac or for some people that know him as the Vlad father. Vlade Divac had the reputation of giving fuck all to the point of of not getting any help for Boogie. Let's keep Rudy Gay on the team when he's a shot chucker and an inefficient player. We need to draft more centers. Let's get Willie Cauley Stein and Yorios Papayanis on our team now. In fact, let's sign Costa Kufas to a 4 year $33 million contract. When your team sucks, trade down for more picks and devote them for more big men such as Scal of this year. Vladi's making mistakes left and right and Rana Dibay pitched on a 4 on, four on 5 fucking defense, leaving one player to fucking cherry pick. You know this is a recipe for a disaster. After all, Rana Dibay is already a walking out because of his decision to purchase the Kings 
and sound the share of the Golden State Warriors. That guy's a fucking walking out.